everyone and welcome back to my channel all about Alex today we're going to be doing our countdown to Christmas and we're going to be doing a tour of my entryway dining room and living room and kitchen so when you first walk in you have this beautiful wreath and I've had this wreath forever guys but I just love it so much it's very neutral which is my aesthetic and so I just love this wreath for the front door and then on the back of the front door is this beautiful wreath and I believe I got it from Hobby Lobby, either Hobby Lobby or Menards. And I just think it's so pretty. It's shaped like a ribbon and it's very neutral again, which is why I love it so much. So I thought it was a perfect spot to be on the back of the door, of the front door. And then as you pan around, you'll see my entryway table and just have just a couple of pieces of decor, my white poinsettia plant and then some candles and this beautiful little sign that I picked up saying that Jesus is the reason for the season. Now this poinsettia here I got from my church. They were giving them away and so he needed a little bit of help but I spruced them up and put them inside of a blanket and I just love the way it looks there. Now walking into my mud room you'll see that our coat closet I put cute little Christmas tree decoration on the, fr on the um, front of that door and then on the other door which leads out to our garage I have this beautiful wreath that I love so much and then down here on the doorknob I just have a door knocker that has little bells on it and the girls get a really big kick out of that when they open the door now I'm gonna open the door here so you can see the wreath on the inside of the garage door and it's this cute little snowman and his little tail says welcome and that goes out every year on this door so every time we open the garage door he's there to greet us now when you turn around we have on our key rack i put this cute little cross and it just says unto us a child is born and i love that because it just reminds us of the reason why we're celebrating this christmas season and then this little thing here just says silent night. Now on our bench in our mudroom, I just put this cute little pillow that I got from Amazon. And above on the shelf, I just have this sign that says, all roads lead home for the holidays. And I got that just so cute. Now going into our dining room, I put this tablescape up. And I really love it. It's something different. And so I just have my beautiful plates on these gold chargers that I got from the dollar store. These plates I got from Hobby Lobby. And they say a Christmas prayer on them. And I just have some neutral cream colored napkins on them and some gold napkin rings. Now on these, these are the plates that I show in my Christmas haul that I got from Kroger actually. And I just have some green napkins on those. And then on my um, decorations for the middle of my table, I just have my rattan table runner there. And on top of it, I have several little gold Christmas tree, those bottle brush Christmas trees, and some candles with candle holders, and these cute little reindeer that are candle holders as well that I got from the Dollar Tree, believe it or not. And I just love them so much. And then my arrangement in the center of the table, I made myself from just bunches of greenery from different places. So I really love how the table turned out. I think it's festive, but also still very neutral and could stay there throughout the winter. And that was what I was going for. Now moving on into our family room, we have my beautiful book place that my husband built over the summer for me. So this was my first time being able to decorate this for Christmas. So I hope I did a good job. Let me know what you guys think. Um, but I always keep this picture here of my beautiful God baby who passed away. His name was Josiah. And so I've flanked his picture there with this cute little sign here that says Season's Greetings. 
And then on the other side, I put this cute little Christmas tree because it just made me think of a little kid, the way it's decorated. And then here on the second shelf, I have this cute little snowman who is actually a picture holder. And I have this gorgeous picture of my two little grand princesses there. And then I have this beautiful joy sign that I also got from Kroger. And guys, all of these things are linked in my um, description box as well as um, you can find all, everything that I got from all the stores from um, my video and my Christmas haul. So up top, I have another picture of my grandkids and myself and my husband. And then just on the side, I flanked it with these faux books. And they're sitting in this beautiful uh, picture frame that I bring out every year. I believe I got that from Kohl's. And then it's sitting on top of another faux book. Up top, we finally got our pictures taken, our family pictures. And so I've placed um, a beautiful picture of all of us, all four of my boys, my husband, myself, and our grandbabies in that picture. Now these stockings I made, and you, if you refer back to the Christmas haul video, they were just a plain white stocking. And I got those from Dollar Tree or Dollar General, and I just decorated them with my Cricut and then some hot glue and ribbon. On top of my um, fireplace mantle, I have this beautiful deer. There's one on each side. My mother-in-law actually gave me these and I just thought they were so pretty. And another thing that I could leave out all winter since they're white. And then I just have some different Christmas trees uh, around him. And then on my, ch on my TV, I have this beautiful Christmas scene that I found on YouTube. There's so many on there to choose from. And I thought this one was really pretty. Now on the other side of my TV, I have the other deer that my mother-in-law gave me. And he's so cute, he's just kneeling down there. And I also have trees, Christmas trees around him. A beautiful white one, and then I love this little green one here that's kind of wrapped in twine around the branches. Now for my fireplace mantle, I just put a bunch of greenery together and then I also flanked um, the fireplace on both sides with my stocking and my husband's stocking that I made. Now down below, there's a candlestick that usually stays there on the mantle, I mean on the hearth. And I put this beautiful little Christmas tree in this uh, burlap sock, sack there. And then there's some other DIY projects here. I have this beautiful green shiny pillow that I made out of two placemats. This beautiful green plaid scarf that I got from the dollar store. And then I just, I've had that star forever and I put that in there. And it's sitting inside of a, a crate that I got, I wanna say from Meyer. And then the other pillow, the plaid pillow I made as well out of just some fabric that I got from Walmart. And then there's our beautiful fireplace that my husband built. And on the other side of the fireplace on the hearth, I have this cute little uh, lantern. And I just put this red bow on top just to bring some red down below on this side. And then this beautiful um, greenery that I put together in the vase. Now here's my grandbaby's stocking here. I didn't make these. I made these from a place called Personal Creations. But this one, I did make. I got the stocking from the dollar store and I just added my third grandbaby's name. Her name is Aaliyah. And then there's another one of the stockings that I ordered. I ordered theirs last year and I just had them made before Aaliyah came this year. And this is a cute little music box that I just have sitting on top of a DIY um, candle holder that I made and then these cute little pictures of my grandbabies this year for Christmas and then I just put another little gold bottle brush tree there now on the second shelf on this side I have these beautiful Christmas trees um, one of them I don't know if you can tell with the white but it's very shiny very pretty and then I have that multi-shade green one up front and then on top of this faux book, I just have my nativity scene that lights up, and I think it's so pretty. And then this cute little candle holder that I got from the Goodwill and my 
wooden Christmas tree that I got from the Target box. Now this container here, I tried for so many years, I don't even remember where I got it from. But I've just filled it with different um, festive uh, bowl fillers as well as some red um, Christmas tree decorations. So now we'll pan around to the other side of the room and this is what I call my wall of windows. And I have our gorgeous Christmas tree here. It's a flock tree. And we decided to go with a tree collar this year. I do have a tree skirt inside there just to cover up the bottom of the tree. But we wanted to go with a collar this year and I really like it. And then I'm just showing you guys some of my special ornaments that mean so much to me. Um, that I put on the tree this year so there's different ones some from my boys as they were growing up and just different ones I've gotten over the years I love um, the Christmas season it just makes me really grateful and thankful and I just think about my faith and how Jesus Christ died on the cross for our sins and he was willing to come here from heaven and I'm just so grateful for that and so a lot of my ornaments reflect my faith This ornament here we got from my mother-in-law the first year that my first biological grandbaby was born in 2019 and it actually has on the bottom of those little shoes her birth date, her weight and length, and her name. And here is another little memento that we have of our God baby, Josiah. And this was given to me by one of my sisters in the church. And I just really cherish it so much. I really love how our tree turned out this year. I didn't put as many things on it as I usually do. I didn't put the ribbon and all of that. But I just think it turned out so, so pretty. Now we'll head over towards the love seat. And I just have uh, placed a few pillows on here. Some decorative pillows and a beautiful um, throw that I always have out usually throughout the year. And then up top on our little windows that we never cover, I found these beautiful little reefs. I think next year I'll put some lights on them, but I got those from Hobby Lobby, I want to say. 
I believe it was Hobby Lobby. And I just thought those were just the perfect touch for those windows up above. Now all of my, well most of my pillows are just pillow covers that I got from Amazon and I reuse them every year. And this pillow I did get from Meyer, I believe, or Target. And it's really soft and fluffy and so I just love it for the um, love seat there. It makes it look very comfortable. And then on my um, side table here, I have um, just another picture of my beautiful grandbaby, Aaliyah. She's the new one. And uh, below here, I just have this tray that I usually keep there all year long. And it has a joy sign, our um, family beads, and then just another decorative piece there. Now behind the picture of Aaliyah is just a jar with some vase, Christmas vase filler. And then on the side, I have this cute little sign that just says peace along with my lamp that stays there all year long. Now on our coffee table here, I keep it really simple because we do have little grandbabies that love to grab things off of this table. So I just have my Christmas tray that I bring out every year. And then I have this beautiful candle here and it says believe and just a bunch of other things um, Christmas related and it smells so so good and then behind there I have my galvanized tin um, house and along with this cute little figurine of a little child um, dressed up for Christmas now on our main sofa I have uh, these different pillows that I thought went really well together and behind there I have this really really soft throw now in my kitchen I didn't do much but I did add a little Christmas touches to the island here and these items are sitting inside of my little wooden sleigh and I just put this cute little Christmas tree in a bucket I got that from Walmart and it's real and it sits with our um, Wi-Fi sign and another cute little winter figurine now on our pantry door, or next to our pantry door, is my uh, reusable calendar that I just redo every month. And then on the pantry door itself, I have this cute little countdown to Christmas sign. And me and the girls love to change the little numbers in here to count down to Christmas. They don't quite understand yet, but they just like turning the sign. Their, their, their ages are two, one, and three months. Now above my stove here, I have those wreaths there that I place. That's the first time I've ever decorated like that in the kitchen. And I have my cute little um, decorative kitchen towels here. That one says, oh by golly jolly. And then I have my festive oven mitts um, for Christmas out. I have several of those, so I'll just change them out uh, periodically. And then on the end of this uh, countertop, I have this cute little reindeer that I've had for a few years. He comes out every year. I just think he's beautiful. And then um, next to him is this candle that's shaped like a um, Christmas tree and the top actually comes off so you can light the candle. And then I have this cute little sign here that says be merry because I wanted to bring some red into the kitchen. Now in my coffee slash cocoa area and tea, because I am a tea lover, I have my this season is for baking uh, uh, tea towel and then I also have some candy canes in that bucket there. And these are some just chocolate spoons that I picked up from Marshalls. And in this bucket I have all of my cocos and hot chocolates. On the wall next to that is um, this beautiful sign that comes out every year and then I just got this sign this year from Hobby Lobby. And it just says, bless the food before us, the family beside us, and the love between us. Amen. And I just love that so much. And then here I have my other Christmas sign that I've had for years and years. And it just says, this house believes. Now on my kitchen table, because we use this table, I didn't want to add too many things to it. So I just added this pretty centerpiece that is usually on my dining room table, guys. Um, but I thought I'd switch it up a little bit and put this in the kitchen. 
just to add a little bit of Christmas touch to our kitchen table because again we do use this to eat with but I just wanted to have it be festive as well. And so I wanted to give you guys a beautiful um, look at how everything looks at night with all the lights on, the fireplace going, and just the ambiance that you have looking at everything when um, it's nighttime. I just love it again, guys. I just feel like I'm so blessed. God has blessed me so, so much. And I hope that you guys get some kind of inspiration out of this and then also just know that God is with us and he is protecting us and we are so, so blessed, guys. Even in the midst of our troubles, we are blessed. And now I know that 2020 has thrown us all for a loop, but I look at the good things that's happened this year and one of the main ones is the birth of my third grandbaby, Aaliyah. And so I'll hold on to all of those blessings and just remind myself when I get down, that everything is going to be okay because God is with me. I hope that you guys have the very best Christmas season. No matter what you uh, choose to celebrate, whether you're a person of faith or not, I just hope that you have family and friends and loved ones and great memories to close out this uh, wild and crazy year. And I just want to make sure that I take some time out to say thank you all so very much for taking time out of your day to watch my videos and be a part of this journey. And I pray that God blesses us all in the new year to come.